Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Gourmet Geography and today we're going to be making a Chicago dog. Well first when you're going to try to set this hot dog up you're going to need to boil some water as I'm trying to fail here at doing. Was not very successful at doing this because it was a new stove top. Next up you're going to need to chop your onions. You can either do them in ring form or you can do them as in like a uh, chopped up form. Either way works. Once you get a couple rings off, just set your onion to the side. And then we're going to need to chop up our tomato. Tomato wedges are apparently the ketchup. You're not really supposed to use any ketchup because that's against the rules so you're supposed to use a tomato and that's the ketchup. So once you finish mangling everything, next up you're going to need to get your plate out because it's been about 6 minutes and this is how long you want to boil your hot dog for. And you're going to want a Vienna beef hot dog to use because that's the original type hot dog. Any other hot dog is usable but you should be using that kind of hot dog. And as you can see here, I do not have poppy seed buns. That's the wonderful thing about living in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of hard to get them. So I had to use a ballpark frank bun because they just were not available anywhere near me. So once you open up your hot dog, you're going to want to get your hot dog right in there. Be careful and ta-da, you're done. Settle it in there so then we can get our condiments. So I got poppy seeds to use because um, I didn't have a poppy seed bun, so I thought that would make up for it. Whatever, right? The next up, the next up, you're gonna want your Frenchies mustard. Don't forget to shake that up because it is always disgusting when you have to deal with uh, the nasty watery bit at the end. Put that on one half of your hot dog, lengthwise, of course. Next up, we're gonna get our relish. I couldn't find neon green relish either, which was annoying to me, so I just had to get some Heinz dill relish. So, I guess it's close enough. It's mostly just aesthetic, not flavor. It's the same with the poppy seed bun. It should be steamed too, by the way, which I did not do. Next up, you're gonna need your pickle slice. I just grabbed a pickle out of my jar. Goes in there like so. This bun is not very structurally sound, and that's why it is quite messy. Next up, you're going to need your sport pepper. A banana pepper like this will work. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Then after you're done with that, you're going to want to add your onions and your tomatoes. Now, the reason that Chicago has these larger, more hearty dishes like our deep dish pizza and our hot dogs like this is because Chicago is a very cold city and people wanted a cheap fast meal and since all of the uh, railroads came into Chicago that's why they had all these meats and things coming in everyone around the world and then once you're done with that you're gonna add your celery salt I like a little bit more than most so I just shake it on there layer it as much as you possibly can some people don't like as much as I do I think I might add a little bit too much to this and it wasn't that great So now that you get it open, I'm doing a little bit of a cross section here for you so you can see what the inside looks like and it just falls apart. It was a poor decision on my part, really. Ta-da! Next up, oh, before you take a bite, you always got to remember a pop. This should be served with a pop. Coca-Cola is usually what you're supposed to drink it with. I'm more of a Pepsi guy myself, but I put up with this drain cleaner for the video. Take a swig and enjoy your hot dog. If any, if you would like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends if you would like more videos on every Friday. And I'll see you all then. This was quite tasty too. 